Earlier May 2024, Alibaba announced that it has released its new AI model, Tongyi Qianwen, and upgraded to Queen 2.5. Price surged about 14% from that low. Along with it, right, there was earnings, of course. Now, price is back into the support level, meaning that price is back to the same price level as before the announcement. But has technical changed? Is there a change in the price pattern of Alibaba? So this is what the video is going to investigate. And most important, will there be any short-term trading opportunity? Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like? From 2021 to 2023, Alibaba downtrend is quite steep. However, from this moving average here, look at the weave of the moving average. It's starting to wind down a little bit on its downward momentum. But still, from the moving average point of view, Alibaba is still right now on a downtrend. However, if I flip this into a day chart, then things sort of uh, becomes different. As you can see, for the part of late 2023 for Alibaba, it was still in a downtrend and downtrend sort of uh, becomes a bit more gentle. At this point here, there was a switch in the moving average. What happened was that the shorter term 21 EMA crossed above the 55 EMA. So this suggests that there was a change in trend. Now this change in trend can be supported by the fact that price made a higher high. When I mean by price making a higher high, each of this high point here was a lower high as you compare to the higher point and each of these low point here was a lower low. Then Alibaba priced flatten out and from here onwards actually make a higher high as compared to the zone of high here. So this suggests that this could be a first sign of a trend reversal coupled with the fact that there was a cross in the moving average. I think this gave a stronger evidence that for the short term there could be a change and the price structure of Alibaba such that there is a short-term price reversal. What led to this short-term price reversal? If you tie into the date here, so that was where Alibaba announced its AI model, Queen 2.5. And of course, there was an earning here, which wasn't as bad as uh, what the market expected. Well, right now, why am I showing the chart of Alibaba? Because it's, it's right now in the zone of support level, meaning that at this point here, right, there was a resistance zone, but uh, price had broken out of it and it came back down to this zone, which is a support level here. So Alibaba is right now in the support zone given by its horizontal support level and as well as the zone of moving average as a catchment area. Moving to UBS website, it is one of the daily leverage certificates issuer in Singapore. I would want to choose the underlying as Alibaba and because it's right now at a support, then I want to choose a daily long because daily long allows me to gain exposure into possible bullish movement. You'll be able to find the list of Alibaba DLCs here, which are daily long. Look for the one with the red symbol here because the red symbol represents DLC products that requires the least amount of underlying asset stick change for the DLCs. In other words, it is one of those more sensitive DLCs. I hope that this video on Alibaba brings more insight on how to reconcile the higher time frame with the shorter time frame. As you can see, Alibaba longer time frame is still downtrend, but shorter time frame has shown some possible bullish reversal, and this could provide some trading opportunity. However, all form of trading investment are high risk. Do take note of the risks. And if you'd like me to cover any other stocks, do let me know. Leave in the comments, and I welcome your comments about what you think about the short term and long term view of Alibaba.